Hello, welcome to Casual Veteran Gamer. In the video today, I'm going to be showing you how to kill Icewind on tier 6 solo with Drizzt. I'm also going to show you how to do it as a group and kind of compare the two runs. I want to point out that this was done and recorded before the first patch came out. My character is Drizzt, it's level 20. I've got 5 piece Sorcerer's Sentinel. That's intentional, 5% life still basically keeps me alive during my gameplay. I've got a three piece of the Warden set, which was kind of accidental. It just happened to be my best pieces. It's 0.5% hit point regeneration, barely worth it. My skills, Cloud of Daggers and Fairy Fire. I don't have any legendary items. I've got all the moves. Level 20, got more than enough gold. All the feats, again, because I'm level 20, you just get enough time to get all the feats. I pumped most of my attributes into strength and dexterity with a little bit in constitution, maybe in a tiny bit in intelligence as well. So you can have a look at my stats here. Nothing special. I Combo power isn't the highest. So most of this, all this fight, in fact, is sped up by a certain amount. In this first part, I somehow didn't manage to get the audio, but I did pause it and then come back into the game. I'm not going to give a commentary throughout the whole video, but just at this point of the fight where we fight Ice Winds, basically staying to her side and her back legs, and she can't get any attacks. So it takes me quite a while to do this because my attack isn't so great, my damage isn't the highest. And I'm spending a lot of time just moving. But it does mean that I take very, very few hits, if any. This is kind of the point where if I get hit without any sort of my resistance potions on, I get killed in one hit. So I'm constantly, constantly dodging, trying to keep behind, and she barely gets any attacks off. Second part of the fight, go up, kill some goblins, fire off a blister. And this repeats again and again. If you want to watch this in normal speed, please do go ahead and slow down the video to 0 0.5 times and a bit later 0 0.25 times speed. Some point soon, the video gets sped up to four times because it gets very, very repetitive. Kill some goblins, jump into the middle, hurt ice winds, go kill some more goblins and so on. So I'm going to leave my commentary until the end for now.
Now at this point I've slowed the video down to 1.5 times speed so you can maybe see more easily what I've been doing the whole time. That's before just been dodging around, avoiding hits and using up all my potions nearly here. So that's Icewind finished off solo. I know it's not the fastest that anyone could have done, but I don't really think it's worth doing it solo. Next up, I'm going to show you what it's like with multiplayer. What I don't like about doing it solo is it does take a bit longer. Obviously, if I was stronger, it would be faster, granted. But if I make a mistake, that's it. I have to restart. So this is just the last ending screens. Obviously, level 20, the experience doesn't matter. I'm top companion. The gold doesn't really matter at this point. The legendary crystals are quite nice I suppose but the amount of time it takes in solo is not really worth the loot. So this is now a multiplayer, I forgot to start recording before we got in there but this is tier 6, you'll see at the end that I have the same set of rewards and I kind of sped up the video to make it a bit faster, don't want to waste your time, it is a bit repetitive just like in the solo mode and it's going way way faster. Part of that is because as it turns out not going to hide behind this, I was doing the least amount of damage. But what I much prefer about solo is we're allowed to make mistakes. It's okay if someone goes down, it's not, we don't have to restart, someone can go and revive them, they can revive themselves later on. What did happen though is I don't think the other two char characters, players knew what to do at this point, so I went up to the right ballista, they went off to the wrong ballista. But they do eventually come and join me. But again, this is just eventually quite repetitive. What, after doing this quite a few times, the boss doesn't feel that exciting anymore. The first like, few times I played through it, I quite liked it. I know that I don't like it now, but it just hasn't got the same excitement anymore. At this point in the video, I've sped up the video to four times speed because just like before, it's now just repeating again and again the same cycle like four or five times over. Nothing different each time, really. So if you just want to see the outcome, just skip to the end. Otherwise, if you really want to see the fighting, like before, maybe just slow down the video.
So here we are, finished the fight now, and you can see we've got the same rewards as the solo mode, which I feel could be changed, because in the solo mode it is definitely more difficult. Even if I was doing more damage, like these other two characters in solo mode, it's still going to take me longer to finish this whole level than in multiplayer mode. I know there are having bugs in the multiplayer mode. I do generally prefer it, but it is more frustrating with the bugs that do appear. It's a little bit embarrassing. This category was only like level 12, <laughs> and me and Wolfgar were level 20. Oh well. Okay, the rest of this has been sped up, since so it's not particularly interesting. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, do let me know what you think about solo play against playing in a group. I do prefer group play, although there do seem to be more bugs with it. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.